Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to have a look at how to do an append query and a delete query. So I have a database opened and the table at the top there, address details, if I just open that. I'm going to use this data to um, append old records or even new records into a new table. So first, I'm going to run a query to make a table that we can play with and call it archive. So query design and then make table. So table name is going to be TBL archive. Okay. And then I'm going to bring this data in and just double click on that. Drag and drop it all there. And then I'm going to run that. Get rid of that. 16 rows yes now if i look at the table archive it's got exactly the same data in as this table address details so now let's look at append so if i close archive so the 16 records in there close this query don't need to save that so if i create an append query so i'm going to add a new record in here actually so 17 17 mr brian jones to red road leads west yorkshire le2 2 rt don't need his phone number today date joined today so what i want to do is do an append query that's going to take these two records and add them on um, to the archive table. Now, normally you'd be doing it for older records, but it doesn't matter, the process is the same. So we'll close that down. So we're going create, query, append. Table to append to is going to be archive. Okay. Then I add my little table and I add all the fields. But now I need some criteria. Let's get rid of this. So the criteria is going to be date joined greater than the 1st of the 4th, 21. So that should pick those two up. You can see how you've got a second line of uh, row of data there, which is append to. So when I run this, it's going to update two rows. Yes. I'm going to save this query because I want to use it later on. So QRY append. Okay. And what I should probably do instead of typing the date there, but that's going to work for this, is just do a parameter box. Enter date. So I can wrong bracket. Enter date, save this, and then just close this, Control W. So if I go to the archive, I should have, yeah, two of Alana Saxton and one of Brian Jones. Now, the delete queries, which is what I want to do now, is if I've appended those to an archive, I then want to delete these two from this table. So let's do that one. So we're going to create a query. Query design and delete query. So I add this table again, drop all the fields in, and then do the same thing. This time, date joined greater than the first of the fourth, 21. Run the query. Going to delete two, two rows, yes. And then open that, and they've gone. So basically what you've done is you've added data to the archive table, and then removed them from the live table, if you like. I'm going to save this one, save, QRY, delete. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the parameter box so it's a square bracket enter d 
date, close square bracket. Save, control S, control W, close. You can see the two queries sat there. So they would just work if you double clicked on those and ran. You can also create a macro to do this automatically. So you don't have to double click on these to run them. Now, before we do that, let's just open this table again because I've added another record, John Wayne. So I want this to be appended and then deleted from appended to archive and then deleted from this table, which we know the individual queries will do. If I go and create a macro, create macro, and then select um, open query, open query. So we want to open the query append first, and then we do the second one. Right, open query again, open query. And the second one is going to be delete, query delete. So we're going to append it, then we're going to delete the original. And we'll save this macro as MCR archive. So it's going to archive everything. And then close that for a second. Now I need a, a menu form. So let's create a form. Um, just want a form and design view for now and then under design I want a command button where I can click to run that macro so it's under miscellaneous it's run macro next it's only one macro there next and then I'll just call it archive records remember we've got parameter queries in there it's going to give us a date and now it's just a finish. And save this as main menu. And then view. Now, just let's recap before I do it. So we've got John Wayne there. And we haven't got John Wayne in the archive. So let's close those down. So I want to remove John Wayne. So you click the button, tells me I'm going to run a query. Yes. And put a date in the future just so I don't mess everything up. First of the fifth twenty one. Okay, yep. And now I'm going to run the delete query. Same date, first of the fifth twenty one. Yep. So let's check. Address details John Wayne's disappeared. Archive John Wayne's appeared. Now, if you use code, obviously that's a bit more seamless than doing it in steps like that. But basically, normally what you'd be doing is you would be getting rid of old records, not new ones like I'm doing there. So it'd be this, is this data, 2003, 99 and things like that. You'd want to remove those and put them into an archive and just keep whatever amount of data in your live table as you feel fit. It could be two, three years. It could be 10 years. It's totally up to you. But that is how the... Um, append query and the delete query works. We also did a make table query first off, but three different types of queries. Hopefully they've been of use to you. We also looked at a basic macro. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.